The Bible and the prophets testify greatly about Zion, how important of a place it is. Let us take a look at Psalm chapter 14, verse 7. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of where? Salvation must surely come out of Zion. Let us turn to Psalm chapter 53, verse 6. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of His people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. In this verse as well, we can see that Zion is always related to salvation. Let us take a look at the teachings of Psalm chapter 69, verse 35. For God will save. What will God save? Zion, and rebuild the cities of Judah. Then people will settle there and possess it. Regarding Zion, this is what God clearly says. God says that He will save Zion. In other words, God teaches us that those who keep God's feasts will receive the forgiveness of sins and be saved. He clearly mentions this in Isaiah chapter 33, verse 20, and also confirms this in Psalm chapter 69, verse 35. Let us turn to Psalm chapter 132, verse 13. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He has desired it for His dwelling. This is my resting place forever and ever. Zion is the place where God will dwell forever. Zion is the place where God has made His dwelling and the place where He has promised to grant the grace of salvation to all those who dwell there. Then, all the people of the world must hear this message and stream to Zion where God's feasts are celebrated. Let us turn to Psalm chapter 133, verse 1. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down upon the collar of his robes. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. From where does God say He will bestow upon us blessing? After reading all these verses, we can understand that all the beautiful blessings, salvation, the forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and God's dwelling place are granted in Zion. That is why God says, Look for Zion, where God's feasts are kept, and return to Zion quickly. This is why we keep the seven feasts in three times throughout the year. Thank you very much.